Hello everyone. I knew this day would come, <laughs> just like yesterday. So yesterday and today we had uh, two events that were eventual. <laughs> yesterday, I always thought it would be a confession that made me start late, the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three, that a confession would show up right at three or right before. And instead it was a group for planning a funeral. And so, uh, but thankfully yesterday we started at 3.07. Well, today is the slightly worst case scenario. I have a meeting scheduled at 3 with my religious order, and there's no way for me to even delay it 15 minutes. I actually asked them, can, can I come into the meeting 15 minutes late so that I can do this live Divine Mercy Chaplet? And the answer was... Uh, it's going to be a short meeting. You'll miss most of it if you do that. And so the first Thursday of every month, we have a day of recollection and um, a meeting, usually from 3 to 3.30 or 3 to 3.45 on the first Thursday of every month. So worst case, well, hopefully <laughs> this will be the one time each month that, um, that I miss or that I can't make it only this, and here's what's going to happen when I know for sure that I won't be able to do the Divine Mercy with you live, I'm going to tape it. So I'm taping this uh, this morning, and instead of at 3 o'clock, it's actually uh, 10.30 a.m., and so um, I miss you all. I know you're watching this, and it feels just like we're doing it together, but I when seeing who's watching, seeing people come on and saying, I'm here, um, means a lot to me that we're doing it together. So I feel like I'm, I'm missing a lot <laughs> by not doing it live. But again, hopefully this won't be that often. It might be more often that I have to delay seven minutes to get a confession in. And thank goodness we haven't had any that the confession came in the middle of that 15 minutes. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how... 15 minutes, <laughs> well, so far so good. 15 minutes has been just 15 minutes and we haven't had any interruptions except for once that they came at the very end and I had to speed up. But that only happened once. So anyway, thank you for joining me here today for the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And let's go ahead and begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This Divine Mercy Chaplet is asking for God's mercy upon us, that strength from heaven, that help from heaven to help and give mercy to us, to our families, to our communities, to our world, and especially to get us through this crisis that this crisis may end and our economy and our churches may fully open up again. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Our first decade, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his, the second decade, I'm trying to keep good with that. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The third decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Our fourth decade. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of our fifth and final decade, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So something hit me during this Divine Mercy Chaplet. Of course, uh, <laughs> when I mess up, when I plan on saying the decade, it may seem like a small thing, uh, but you know, these meditations, this Divine Mercy Chaplet, it's meant to engage you. And so it's funny how God catches me when I'm planning something else in my day, when I'm thinking about something, when my mind is drifting, that's when I make those little mess ups, mess ups. And God is calling me back saying, focus on what you're doing, mean your words, be close to me in this moment, leave everything else out for this moment, just be with me. And you know, the rosary's even more intimate because as you're saying, you're thinking about the mysteries and it's meant to engage you completely. And uh, so as a religious, uh, this came up today in mass, my founder wanted us to be contemplative active, that we pray and meditate first, and then from that, we go out into the world. And as priests, it's so hard, because there's so many things to do, and we wanna do, 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 and it's so hard to stop and sit. And um, people have already asked me, is these rosary walks that I'm going around uh, hurting me, taking up all my time. And, and you know what? It's really just bringing me back to what's most important, that the most important thing I can be doing is saying that rosary. And sure, it would be easier to say it here, but it's hard. <laughs> you that I'm saying the rosary with in this Divine Mercy Chaplet with, when I'm serving you, it's easy for me. When I'm just doing it for myself, when I'm scheduling it, it's so hard. And so I thank you, everyone, for doing this with me. Even today, where I'm posting this, where I'm recording this early, it's thanks to you that it's so easy for me to do it. And it's the same with these rosary walks. I'm starting to look forward to them, to stopping my day and just enjoying being in those locations and focusing on God. It's been a long time coming, and it just goes to show our church family that we have to help each other do the things that we know we should be doing, but we can't do on our own. You're helping me do it. Even though I'm posting and 
And um, thank you. Thank you everyone for joining me for prayer and for these moments. Sorry that this can't be live. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, protect you, guide you, love you, and be with you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And even though this is recorded, God's outside of time. I know he knows right now who's going to be watching this and that this blessing is going to find you across time and space, even though I'm giving this blessing in the morning and you're watching it in the evening. God bless you all.